interesting weekend we are going to have on our hands as we enter March Day 10. This is the weekend where the porcupines have vowed to chop into pieces the imbalanced oak tree. But the phobians are sure of heavy rains that will lit the sky with their rainbow and also hold their oak tree firmly to the ground. The Garden City will host the first leg of Ghana's Super Class to a colorful scene at the Babaya Sports Stadium. It is Kumasi Asante Kotoko against the Karahatu. Bibi Babisi, Eda Kwasida, Okumasi Babaya Raspo Stadium. Who knew to feel bad? Bra, never heard Kumasi as Antikotoko, ne a car had to folk. Bra, never heard Kotoko players beat his Felix Anan, Emmanuel Jamfi, Freddie Boateng, Sadiq Adams, Daniel Dakwa, Jackson, midfield maestro, Papa B. Nasa Sadiq Adams, it's me, ma, Atenga, it's Kakanka. Ewa Tamala, and near Freddy Boatin, Bema in Mr. Musa Nuniho, and that was Sieda, Ewa Babaya Sports Stadium. Unia and Snuffy Brana Bessa plays Wayna, and Yap Sabo for Enna Sunday on the ball, on the ball ball, Papa. Bra, Nabeshomo, Santa Line, twenty cities, Polachi, ten cities, and a VIP fifty cities. Unia and Snuffy, Brana Bena has a folk, a Diane Bibu. Near Chichim, near the Amaya supporters, no more the coffee that deal. Now, more on your mind, you say, you know, more the best at the league, you know. Do near bra, a baby crop be a commercial santicotico. Fabulous, the best. Fabulous, the best. Fabulous. Match is sending out not edge supporters and ask to go. A him is a pack, is a support team. Timo Mumus and Timo Mum, yeah, one style. Ama, go away, beam. Mundo Kiko to come get a team now. Oh yeah, has been a kill back and cut over. Sunday, Sunday, the Bamuchiko to Kokraba Mundo Kibumbas, Bu, Mudokim compensate supporters Muduka, Mudokim Tara Timum. Kotoko soon win, Mumumbuga draw, one man in a kisun, cause Yabar Pless, Sudamus, we fushi, Subio Kotoko Sunday, Kuma Kotoko Kumasi, the Gidamuni, Sasushiri, Sunday, the Sun Shash, Mum Bata Timus Kumash, Komina Kifari, one and the Equala, Michala, Komia, happy Sunday, life. Adrenaline's are rising. Expectations over the roof, anticipation for a result that will give a sign of resurgence and authority given both sides have had a woeful start to a season. One has a short stopper, the other a goal getter. And we also visit the other league centers to see how we are garnering up for week 10 in total. I am ready. My guest is also ready and I know you are too. Let's take this journey on the beautiful game. It's always a delight to come by you with the Beautiful Game. And on our YouTube channel is the Ghana League TV. On Facebook, we are the Beautiful Game TBG. You can also tweet at us at This Is My League. And let's get talking about Premier League. But it's a big one this weekend at the Barbara Sports Stadium. And with me is a gentleman who have had the honor to bring this game live to millions of people across the world. And today he's going to help us relive that experience. What exactly it is like to talk about Kotoko and has what preparations really goes into such big games. But let's check out our results from week nine as Dreams FC sought to drown Adriana Stars by two goals to zero at the Theatre of Dreams. Hearts of Oak struggled to get a point from Bechem United as Kumasi Asante Kotoko's journey to Wa was fruitful when they brought two goals and three points back to Kumasi. Berkum Chelsea beat Liberty Professionals 2-1. Ash Gold at the Lane Sports Stadium held in Tarlis to a 1-0 win. 11 Wonders beat Mediama SC by a goal to Neil Carrella. At Enyinasi held a Lumina Shark to a stalemate. Ebusina Dwarfs were 3-2 losers at home to West Africa Football Academy. So with me today is um, Mr. Benjamin Willy Graham of um, GTV, the station of the nation, and he's going to tell us what exactly it is like to be a commentator and when it's that game between Kotoko and Hearts. You're welcome, Mr. Graham. It's a pleasure, sir. Yeah. I'm, I'm grateful you're able to earn <laughs> our invitation. I can see you're beaming with smiles, but quickly, let's look at the league so far. After nine weeks, um, what do you make of it? I think we're seeing a, a change in formation and a change in... Um, the rhetorics about the league because we're seeing teams playing home away from home and yeah the fans are not happy the mm -hmm. fans haven't really been excited about it though but um the results not coming fast the way some want it sure. i'm sure some teams have loved to play at home and picked up some point dreams fc doing 
incredibly well. We've sure. seen Ash Gold also and having to also surprise almost everybody by way of being on top of the Premier League log. And the surprise package currently is uh, Wow Stars and indeed um, their fortress has been breached a number of times and is still being breached and, and everybody is looking forward to a bit of a change. 11 Wonders, I'm surprised their performance and yeah. their, their, you know, their point build up. Karela is also trying to garner some point of points at home and everybody's kind of scared. You remember what they did to Hearts of Folk 3-1? was a scoreline. Kodoko is yet to visit that then anyway. Okay. But that tells you that the teams that have had the opportunity of being part of the Premier League this season, they're showing some glimpses of some quality and that's exactly what some of the teams um, are scared of. But yeah. I think for now, it's early days yet anyway. Sure. Um, we're definitely going to see the big game of the season. Let's come to you. How does it feel like knowing that the whole world literally is listening to you to give them vivid description of what is happening? It's five hours of preparation. And that's one of the things that one of our, my lectures and, and television commentary, John Helm, who's a FIFA commentator, uh, will tell you five hours of preparation. And you need to be meticulous with whatever you want to do. It's not only about maybe picking um, the microphone and going to speak. Uh, you need to script your introduction. Okay. You need to script your outro. You need to also script your, your descriptive analysis of every game. So it's, it's more like you have a page or you have papers right in front of you. When the team or the players are in the tunnel, you need to tell the world what it is that they are to expect. Sure. So everything is scripted. It's, it's like a movie, acting a movie. You mm -hmm. script your everything. and so. If you don't do that, you fumble. So I will be able to tell you um, this action, you know, when the ball is in the 18 yard area, we call it the area of uncertainty. So okay. when it is there, I should be able to tell you that this action of these individuals will lead to a goal or otherwise. Yeah, otherwise. So, and all, everything depends on your descriptive power. It's, it's about language and you need to have vocabs. Most of the times when I get to say Kumasi or Accra, mm -hmm. I, should, I normally walk around the stadium that's my stuff. Sure. I pick the grass. I, I should be able to tell you that this particular grass, kind of grass is good for the players. The weather okay. condition is good for the players. The starts they are wearing is good for the grass. It will be good for uh, passing. It mm -hmm. will be good for running. So all these things come into play. You need to have all these analysis done okay. before the game starts. Intense preparations like he's just elaborated to us just to bring out the best when it comes to commentary and our game down here. But he was converted from a striker to a goalkeeper. From Archimota to the academy and now to the soccer university, they call it. Felix Zanan has been one to look out for the season for Kumase Asante Kotoko. He relives his moments and the first time, interestingly, if you care to know, when he got the chance to keep the pose for Kotoko was against Hearts in a Krawai side. 131. Let's hear from the goalkeeper of Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Fabulous, yeah, Ben Mayan Kunim de Francani so de Bia Asanti Kotoko, who come up with Martin Beba. For where we go, back where it's never. We are the best African number one team. So stand up for your masters are coming. Fabu, 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 masters. For where we go, back where it's never. We are the best. Africa number one team, so stand up for your masters are coming. Fabu, 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 masters, for where we go, back where it's never. Fabulous, fabulous. Yeah, Ben Mayen Kunim de Frankani so de Bia. Asante Kotoko, Ukuma Pima Pimbeba. For where we go, back where it's never. Fabulous, fabulous. Yeah, Ben Mayen Kunim de Frankani so de Bia. Asante Kotoko, Ukuma Pima Pimbeba. For where we go, back where it's never. We are the best African number one team. So stand up for your masters are coming. Fabu, 
Fabo, Fabo, Masters, for where we go, back west ever, we are the best, Africa number one team, so stand up, for your masters are coming, Fabo, 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 Masters, for where we go, back west ever, I sent for Kotoko barely two weeks, you know, and then uh, I had a nod to come in as a sub, you know, in the first game against, you know, our rivals Akra House of Fokina Kai. A game which when I was coming in was 1 1, and then we ended up winning 3 1. Please, I've already tasted, you know, playing against them, but there are games which are special because uh, there are games, you know, that can make you or break you. So for me, it was a nice experience, and then I was privileged, I was able to, you know, to have the nod, you know, to play against them. You know, football is a, it's a collective and a team game, but. Uh, as you have said, you know, each and every player, irrespective of our position, has to have a target. You know, for me as a goalkeeper, I want to keep my consistency and then trying to improve on my performance from last season. And then hopefully, you know, goalkeepers are judged by clean sheets. And then I want to have more clean sheets than I did last season. So that is my target this season. And then hopefully, I can help the club to win a lot of trophies. When you play for Kotoko, you know, every season you have to compete for trophies uh, because, you know, we are one of the biggest clubs, you know, in Ghana and in Africa as a whole. So for us and then for me as you know personal target, you know, we have an ambition and then we our our project this season is to win the league. So nothing changes from that. We'll keep taking game by game and then we want to win the league this season. It's quite strange, you know, because uh, this these are games, you know, these are games you nothing you don't get six points from these games, but it's it's kind of a special game and then this is the rivalry that makes football, you know, really great. And so for me going into a game, you know, against as a folk, you know, the preparation, you know, is is so intense because this is a game for the fans. You know, even though there is only three points at stake, but this is a game for the fans, and then you want to win for them so that they will be happy. As a player, you know, these are the kind of games you want to play because if you want to be a big player, you have to play in big games, and then these are the kind of games you can always play to improve upon your performance. So for us, you know, it's a special day, and then we can't wait for Sunday. You no, know, it hasn't been a very smooth season. You know, it's not been a consistent season for both clubs, but. Uh, we, we we are looking at ourselves, you know, we are not looking at the opponents, you know, we want to improve what we want, we want to do. So for us, you know, we are not going to say they are not doing well as well, so, you know, it's not going to be against between us and Kotoko, it's a different game. And then we, they will say form doesn't play, you know, those games. So we are preparing very hard, we are preparing mentally strong so that, you know, we can win on Sunday, you know, to keep, to keep our season going. I want to tell the fans that uh, they should come in their numbers, as they are saying, you know, I just came back from training, you know, and then we are really preparing very hard. We want to win for them on Sunday. They should come and support us, you know, they should pray for us, you know, they should come to the stadium. The beautiful game is on Ghana League TV on our YouTube channel, and my name is Abigail Senasso. So with me, like you heard earlier, is Benjamin Willie Graham of GTV. But Ben, let's look at um, Felix Anand. This is one person that I think that he's been able to stand out this season, no matter the fortunes of Kumase Asante Kotoko. I think that he's on his skills pretty well. Um, I remember times uh, when he couldn't stand to be the number one goalkeeper when the likes of Salama, you know, Isaac Kamwakos and the rest were in the team. He went to, you know, Wafa, Wafa. as a loan. Um, he did play his part for the team. Mm -hmm. And then currently he had to return to Kumasi Asante Kodoko. And of course he's been able to command that number one position, uh, depose the likes of uh, NSO. Uh, and so it makes him one of the best players. I remember he's also been able to garner some bit of experience with the local Black Stars team at the Wafa competition. And of course also, um, the exploits that he intends to, to give the national team. So I think that for now, um, he's, he's been the standout player. Mm. He's been one player who's had some flags as well. Sure. And when things don't go well for him, he gets the, the criticism. But I think that we have to give him the credit. And I believe that he definitely will be an incredible. He's a good friend of mine anyway, a very, <laughs> very good friend of mine. So I think he still has got good advices around him who tells him what to do and he's doing the job, mm. the job well. Felix Anand as a goalkeeper, what really distinguishes him? For me, I like it when I see him going to take his goal kick. So Because no matter how he takes it, he still finds his marker. I don't know how he does that. Though. That's the poor distributing aspect of goalkeeping. And that's mm. one thing that goalkeepers must be good at. Manuel Neuer is one of them. Uh, David here is one of them. And so to be a very good goalkeeper at that level, what you need to do at, is that you just don't kick the ball in, yeah. but you also initiate the attack. That is the key thing. Goalkeepers are to initiate attacks. Mm -hmm. So when the ball comes to you, you are looking at who is out there that if I hit the ball straight to, will be able to. So some goals are scored with three touches, from the goalkeeper to a midfielder and a striker, and it's a goal. Mm -hmm. That is a goalkeeper's 
you know, job. So it's not about just hitting the ball anywhere. And but for like Felix, what, what would you say is that mark that I can say as the other 15 clubs do not have when you line up their goalkeeper? It's about initiating the attack, learning. It's about knowing who's, what Manuel Doya is doing for Bayern Munich at the time when you know, Casillas was doing for Real Madrid at the time, what maybe Van der Sar was doing. Like, you just, just go back into the archive. And I know he's a fast learner. So yeah. I'm sure he's gone back, listened to other experienced goalkeepers, telling him, listen, it's not part of the balls with you. Just make sure you find your marker when you're moving in there. Mm. That's all. We are still gunning to that big one on Sunday, but we are not forgetting our other um, fixtures that will mark week 10, a game on Friday, six on Saturday, and it will leave Sunday for our two glamorous clubs that will fight for that supremacy, that authority, again, as a struggle to make it on top of the season. In Kotoko, there's a phenomenal goalkeeper to look out for, but Accra had to focus on traveling with their newly found Talisman, who is currently um, a joint top scorer for the club in the person of Joseph So He tells us he's always admired Akra Hatafuk from afar and then jumped onto the boat when he was given the chance to join. He's going to Kumasi in high hopes and ready to put his club out there. I'm Joseph Esso, a Hatafuk player. I'm an attacker, starting from the grassroots. I think my first team was Ayas Academy. Moving to Vota Warriors, from there moving to New Generation Academy at Tachimota. Uh, from New Generation, I moved from there to Dwarfs in the Premiership. I spent three and a half seasons for Dwarfs. So from there, moving to Accra and so forth. I do believe in hard work, so yeah, it's my hard work. Things are a bit difficult from the start of the season, but I think. With time, everything will be okay. We will surely meet the team's target, for sure. This is not my first time playing against Kotoko. I think I played with them during my stay at Dwarfs. But in Haas, this is my first time to play with them. And you know, playing with uh, Kotoko, uh, Kotoko and Haas, uh, playing, Haas playing against Kotoko, it's not, it has not been easy at all. Anytime that they meet. But, I think I'm going, I'm going into this game very relaxed, play my normal game as I used to do at Dwarfs when I meet them. So hopefully I'm going to give my best. To talk of him, I think it's been wonderful since the start of the season. Playing against him, I think it's normal, it's normal, it's normal. He's just a normal keeper to me. So I, 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 I'm, I'm hoping to get chances in the game. As far as the chances comes, I'm going to bury it. I'm not, I'm not afraid of him. He's just a keeper, and I'm also an attacker. My, my, my duty is to score, and him is to keep the post. So I'm also going to score. So he's, he should also do his duty to keep it. So at the end of the day, you will see the best. For sure, for sure. You know, as an attacker, if you do score in every game, I think your ability of scoring rises in front of the goalposts and in terms of play to your confidence level also rises. So it's helping me a lot anytime I score. Accra Asopoke is a big club and big clubs always deserve the best. So on top of the league, nothing less than first. I think they should, they should be a bit patient with us. So because looking at what happened last Sunday at Kumasi, it wasn't easy for we the players at all. But I'm telling them they should have patience with us. We are coming to Kumasi to play against Kotoko on Sunday. Hopefully, we will give them what they, they, they want. So they should just have patience with us. Yeah. Benjamin, let's look at Joseph So You are in a fold that. I can say he didn't come at the right time, struggling at this time. The whole world will be looking at you to see if you can cause that difference in such a big day. Well, remember when he was at the Busson Dwarves, he was always looking forward to move. So he had a chance to get some trials in Germany and he was able to come back to Ghana. And then uh, he's found his way in um, Accra Hartsburg. I think that um, he's been able to find his feet there. Yes. And it's, uh, precisely, he's able to get the fans to love him because of what he's doing. I think that we need but to man, give him I think, I think he's been very hard working when you watch him play. So, and to a fold like this... He was one guy was getting, he was one guy was getting the goals for Ebusson Dwarves, and mm -hmm. so 
him coming to Hearts of Oak and still continuing for that level, I think is incredible. We need to give him the, um, the needed you know, um, support. And so this Sunday will be another point where he needs to prove that. You don't think he's under so yeah, much pressure is, to is, prove this himself? Is, this is where I describe events. Such games is where heroes are made and mm -hmm. villains are remembered. Okay. And so if, he's one, if he, does, he does want to be a hero, this is it. if he's going to be remembered for being a bad player, it's the same platform. <laughs> so that's it. Mm. I have the feeling that it's going to be one that he might not be able to show up. Forgive me, but I watched that last game against Bechim. Never, in never, never write off some events because mm. certain games bring out the best in certain players. I'm telling you. You think he will be that unsung hero that will show up on a big stage? Never write him off. I'm saying never write players off on such big occasions. Okay, so just maybe Joseph also has a point to prove to some of us who are yet to see him show up on such big games that he has watched from afar and will join now. Just so we don't take all the attention from our other league centers, Graham, there are some games that are coming up. I don't know if we want any other ones you'd want to talk about when Liberty comes against War All Stars. Yeah, I love that game. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I, I'm, I'm just looking forward to see how War All Stars will be able to pick up the points. Liberty have also struggled Liberty occasionally, yeah. So. A uh, home game for Liberty, they probably want to pick things up. So, so it's going to be a big one, but I'm going to put you on the spot. Mm -hmm. Kotoko and Hearts, your prediction? Normally I sit on the fence. Why? It's, it's not because the tie can always change. Mm -hmm. So team that play well win that game. But I wouldn't be able to say Kotoko win or Hearts because both of them are struggling. So it's probably going to be the same story that everybody gets to hear. But whichever way, maybe, the, be... maybe the home team. You see, mm -hmm. it's unfortunate. Yeah? Hearts mm -hmm. will tell you that their home ground is Kumasi. Yeah. Kotoko will say the home ground oh, so is a crap. So, but now Hearts of Oak don't have a home ground in Accra anyway. But I know Hearts of Oak will come very confident against um, Kotoko. Mm -hmm. And if Kotoko isn't able to take the chances yet, they could be punished. But I think Kotoko over the past few years have had the opportunity of doing something against Hearts of Oak. Let's see how it goes. And so your prediction? It could be a draw. Could be a draw. Could be a draw. Okay. So for the commentators, I will sit out there and tell you the story. He believes that it's going to be a draw. So Hearts will just come back home with a point and Kotoko with a point. I know both fans are shaking their heads and won't agree, but we leave that to Sunday and see how exactly that pans out. But um, thank you very much, Mr. Gamer, pleasure. for your time. And maybe we'll meet again in the commentary box and see how it is really done. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. So five hours of preparation for the commentator might not be enough for Kumasi, Asante Kotoko, and the Kohata folk, but we are all in anticipation of that big one at the Babaya Sports Stadium. And also, we look to other fixtures from our other seven league centers as we wrap up March Day 10. This has been another edition of The Beautiful Game with me, Abigail Senasosuba. Check us out on our YouTube channel, it's Ghana League TV. On Facebook, we add The Beautiful Game TBG. Tweet at us at This Is My League. Let's get talking because this is our league.